Hi there, history fans. Today we have a video from Sam Onella Academy. It's called Terrare, the Hungriest Man in History. So this video or Sam Onella's channel was recommended a few times in the comment section and also on our Discord server. So I decided to, to, to do this video, to react to his video. Uh, I need to admit that I saw some of his videos, not all of them. And this is one of the videos I didn't watch before. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what he has to say uh, in the video because all of his videos are kind of crazy and they talk about uh, and he talks uh, a lot about stuff that isn't mainstream in history. So it's going to be pretty interesting. As always, uh, you can take part in the polls. They're going to be in the upper corner of the video uh, to give your opinions. You can also give your opinion in the comment section suggestions in the comment section uh, and if you want to be part of our small little history community that just yesterday passed 1000 subscribers so the first milestone you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell um, and yeah as always the original video is going to be in the description below uh, go give him a view and a like uh, and check out his other videos if you're interested in those kinds of stuff Okay, let's just jump in into the video. The hungriest man hey in history. kids, I think we can all agree that there are few pastimes more grotesque than competitive eating. The concept of a bunch of guys pushing their anatomy to I its never limits understood just that. for sport I never a bad taste it. in my mouth in more ways than one. But imagine if these men didn't adopt this habit just for fun. Imagine if some gross biological error forced them to eat like this for their entire life. Introducing Tarare. Tarare was born in France around 1772 to a poor farming family. It's said that his appetite was so voracious that, by his teens, Tarare could eat an entire quarter of a cow carcass in a single day. You'd think what? he'd be like mega obese. I mean, I can eat a lot, but that's... that's definitely a lot. So, 70-72. Did he say 70-72? So, that's before... Uh, before the French Revolution. He was born in France around seven. And was Terrare his real name or just a nickname or? Because it doesn't sound French to me. 1972 to a poor farming family. It's said that his appetite was so voracious that, by his teens, Terrare could eat an entire quarter of a cow carcass in a single day. You'd think he'd be like mega obese, but no, he only weighed 100 pounds by age 17. However, what? there were still a few things that stood out about Terrare appearance-wise. For one, he had a huge, stretched-out mouth with horribly stained teeth. He could reportedly fit 12 eggs in his cheeks at once, much like a chipmunk keeping its chipmunk eggs warm. Additionally, when Terrare was full, he'd get a crazy Octomom gut going, and any other time, he'd have a huge flap of stretched out skin hanging around his waist. He also wow. stank to high hell, even by 18th century French peasant standards. He was described <laughs> as reeking, quote, to such a degree that he could not be endured within the distance of 20 paces. So between all this... Yeah, back then we all know the story that, uh... Even some rich folks, so the aristocracy, uh, didn't wash themselves, you know, like every day or something like that. They would wash themselves once a month or something like that. And instead of washing, they would use parfum. Parfum. And his horrendous <laughs> outhouse flooding dumps, his family had had enough. All right, you're eating us out of house and home here. You gotta go, man. You heard me kick bricks, froggy. Wow, he just called a French person a frog. That's so racist. No, it's not. They're all French. <laughs> the guy just looks like a frog is all. Wow. Oh. Well, too late. I'm already offended. That's fair. Dislike. After leaving home, Terrare <laughs> was forced to beg and steal just to satisfy his gargantuan appetite. Inevitably, people began to take notice of him, and eventually he landed a job as a street performer in Paris. People would hand Terrare entire baskets of apples, eggs, and even wine corks, and oh, watch in delight as he horked them down without the slightest... But as far as I know, like, uh, also, be like, when he... If he was born in 1772, then he was... 10 or 70 uh 1782 so in the 80s there was already hunger in france and and lack of food and so on so yeah i'm kind of surprised that people even gave him food 
But yeah. Just hesitation. Normally this went off without a hitch, except for one time when he suffered a severe intestinal blockage. Fortunately, the crowd was kind enough to carry him to the hospital, where he was treated with the strongest laxatives the 18th century had to offer. I would draw what happened next, but it would probably get my channel deleted. So let's just picture it for a few moments. <laughs> Mm, mm. <laughs> Moving on. Cut to the year wanna. 1792. This marks the beginning of the War of the First Coalition. Ever heard of it? Me neither. Who was in it? Fucking everyone. Anyway, Terrari <laughs> decided to enlist him. Yeah, so after the French Revolution in uh, 1789. The war. After all, maybe that profound emptiness he was feeling was just a lack of purpose in life. Turns out, no, he really was just psychotically hungry. Even after being <laughs> granted quadruple rations, Terari would still be digging through the trash pile whenever he got the chance. After mm. suffering extreme exhaustion, he was sent off to the military hospital in Soutorin. The staff there was so <laughs> dumbfounded by the man's abilities that they decided to keep him there to run a few experiments. The first of which involved putting Terari in a room with a meal prepared for 15 people. Naturally, he ate the entire thing and immediately fell asleep. Next, they presented him with a raw eel. In response, Terari crushed the eel skull between his teeth before slurping down the entire creature in one go. Uh, now, this is hair-clenchingly horrifying for a couple of reasons. Uh, Firstly, he put a whole frickin' eel in his stomach, yeah. but secondly, there had to be some point during digestion where the meat was gone but the bones still remained. Now, for those of you who don't know, an eel skeleton looks like this. That means Terari had all of those needle-sized ribs stabbing into the walls of his stomach at once, and he was fine. He also ripped- Yeah, and look at the skull. So he crushed this skull with his teeth. Ah. Oh. What? Needle-sized ribs stabbing into the walls of his stomach at once, and he was fine. He also ripped a live cat apart with his bare hands, drank its blood, and ate everything but its bones, and then later gagged up the fur and skin like an owl, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. After reviewing what? our data, I've come to the scientific conclusion that, uh, yeah. We got a goddamn demon on our hands. But as we all know, with great devour comes great responsibility. Since Terrari was still technically enlisted, the military decided to utilize his abilities for the greater good. Hey Terrari, it's me, the General. Listen, could you eat this box with a note in it for me? Hmm. If you do it, we'll give you a wheelbarrow full of bull organs. <laughs> Lo and behold, two days later, he passed the container in mint condition and was given his reward as... What? Ouch! Ouch! How did he do that? Promised. With this proof of concept, they made him an oh. official spy and sent him into Prussia with a document in his belly to be delivered to an imprisoned French colonel. Unfortunately, there are a couple things Torare couldn't do that are generally important when sneaking into another country. A. He couldn't speak German. Nice and B. It's pretty bitch. hard to maintain a low profile when you're running around like a madman, wolfing down garbage and mutilating small animals. So yeah. he ended up being captured by the enemy. Initially, he kept his mouth shut, for once, but after a whipping and a day in jail, Torare gave in. After confessing that he did did, in fact, have vital intelligence snaking its way through his GI tract. The Prussians chained him to a latrine until the box emerged 30 <laughs> hours later. The note wasn't actually anything important, oh. so they just mock executed him, gave him a severe beating, and sent him on his way. After all that, Terraria mock returned executed. to life at the hospital, desperate for a cure for his condition, but nothing they ever tried worked. Meanwhile, the man's what? life at the hospital, desperate for a cure for his condition, but nothing they ever Tobacco pills, opium, juice. Tell him to just quit being a fat ass. <laughs> Throat cock. No. Give up to start business. <laughs> Never tried nice. worked. Meanwhile, the man's endless hunger continued to get him into all sorts of trouble. He'd often sneak out of the hospital to eat the scraps behind the local butcher and fight stray dogs in the alley for their precious garbage. He'd also seek out patients undergoing bloodletting in order to take all their life juice for himself. On several occasions, he was even caught attempting to eat bodies in the mortuary. By this point in my research, I was so what? desensitized to this guy that I didn't even bat an eye when I first read that. I was just like, alright. Guess he must have been hungry. Anyway, the Yeah, just another thing, uh, just normal. The hospital staff <laughs> begrudgingly tolerated Terrare's buffoonery, until one day when he went too far. Well, Terrare, you've only had three mess hall raids, four miscellaneous trash-related mishaps, and one cadaver defiling. So I'd say, so far, this week's been pretty good. Uh, doctor, we should probably inform you that a 14-month-old child has gone missing from their room. Terrare, look at me. Did you eat a fucking baby?
Kamari was promptly kicked out of the hospital what? and spent four years out and about doing, you know, whatever horrific shit you can imagine. When he came back, he was suffering from advanced tuberculosis and died shortly after arrival. During his autopsy, the surgeons found that, when they looked into his mouth, they could see all the way down his throat and into his stomach cavity. As you can imagine, his whole abdominal region was profoundly deformed. Basically, if this is a normal human, this is what they found inside Tarare. Just like the man's mind, we can see that around 90% is devoted towards food and 10% Toward yeah, look at look at those organs. What? Really? It's everything else. So, moral of the story here is that no, you know what? Not even I can find anything resembling a moral here. Not all stories have a point to them. Sometimes they're just sad and disgusting from beginning to end. Hmm. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsor. As you can probably tell, I'm a very visual person when it comes to learning. I firmly believe that engaging visuals are an essential teaching tool that allows for much Me deeper too. comprehension than plain old walls of text. That's why I'm pleased to introduce our sponsor, Brilliant.org. We all know that math and science are really important to, to master, and to Brilliant's stuff. elegant UI and step-by-step -step design makes learning seemingly complex topics very intuitive, especially for visual learners. Their straightforward graphics, delightful animations, and interactive puzzles make it easy and fun to hone your own critical thinking skills. Personally, I've always been super intrigued by neural networks and all the things you can do with them, but I've always been too intimidated to research them in depth. After learning about Brilliant, I actually started taking their course in the subject, and I gotta say, it's been such a pleasurable experience that I plan to continue with it in my own spare time. To support me and learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash salmonella and sign up for free. Also, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Till next time, I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching. Once again, an interesting video from him. What? So, the first thing I'm interested in is... Was it his real name? Terrare? Because terra, terra tere, uh, means in Latin, earth. So... And we all know that French has Latin origins, so it's a retro-romantic language. So maybe it's some, it has something to, to do with it. But how? Why? I mean, there's so much unanswered questions. Uh, yeah. Anyhow. Uh, and I'm also kind of surprised that he wasn't uh, kind of executed be uh, because of the... Uh, all the things that he did, did especially with the 14 year old child because as we saw it happened after the French Revolution and they were like with the guillotine they were pretty harsh on everybody who who broke the law but we know it was kind of also selective and they were also a little bit selective in their punishment not a little bit but uh, very much Okay, I hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, uh, the original link uh, link to the video uh, is in the description below. Give him a view and a like. He really deserves it. I hope that he continues with doing <laughs> crazy videos like this. Uh, if you subscribe, uh, if you liked this video, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out new videos. I would really like you to be our, the par, our part of your, our community. And uh, yeah, until next time. See ya.